Hi, everybody. Last Easter, we shared with you a story about Jesus' resurrection. Now it's Christmas time. There goes Umi. I knew she wouldn't stay. And we're going to share today Jesus' Christmas Party, written by Nicholas Allen. There was nothing the innkeeper liked more than a good night's sleep. But that night, there was a knock at the door. No room, said the innkeeper, but we're tired and we've traveled through the day and the night. There's only the stable round the back. Here's two blankets. Sign the register. So they signed it, Mary and Joseph. Then he shut the door, climbed the stairs, got into bed and went to sleep. But then later, there was another knock at the door. Excuse me, I wonder if you could lend us another smaller blanket. There, the innkeeper said, one smaller blanket. Then he shut the door, climbed the stairs, got into bed and went to sleep. But then a bright light woke him up. Oh, brother. That's all I need, said the innkeeper. Then he shut the door, climbed the stairs, drew the curtains, got into bed, and went to sleep. But then there was another knock at the door. We are the shepherds. Well, what's the matter? Lost your sheep? We've come to see Mary and Joseph. Round the back said the innkeeper. Then he shut the door, climbed the stairs, got into bed, and went to sleep. But then there was another knock at the door. We are the three kings. We've come to round the back, said the innkeeper. He slammed the door, climbed the stairs, got into bed, and went to sleep. But then a chorus of singing woke him up. <laughs> right, that does it. He got out of bed, slammed down the stairs, threw open the door, went around the back, stormed into the stable, and was just about to speak when, shh, whispered everybody, you'll wake the baby. Baby, said the innkeeper. Yes, a baby has been born this night. Oh, said the innkeeper, looking crossly into the manger. And just at that moment, suddenly, amazingly, his anger seemed to fly away. Oh, said the innkeeper, isn't he lovely? In fact, he thought he was so special, he woke up all the guests in the inn so that they could come and have a look at the new baby, too. So, no one got much sleep that night. The end. Well, with thanks to Nicholas Allen, I hope you enjoyed that story, Jesus Christmas Party. And all of you who are watching, the younger members of the parish, I hope, and maybe your parents or friends or grandparents, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great, great Christmas.